Hey everybody, we're right, Diamond Suloyo back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Paradigm Studios video. Um, store owner kicks out homeless customer. Let's get into it, guys. You must be the new cleaning lady. Hi. Do you mind just heading to the back store right away? I don't want you to turn off the VIP clients I have coming in. No, you got this all wrong. I was actually going to buy that men's coat. <laughs> Not smelling like that, you aren't. Besides, this jacket, it's way above your pay grade. Uh, I'm uh uh. Then she said she talking about the way she smell. What? Sorry, I don't understand. I'm ready to pay cash for it. Can you let me know what I owe you and I'll be on my way? <laughs> cash. Well, unfortunately for you, we actually only take credit cards. There's just been a ton of fraud lately. You what? wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> this is hard earned money, but if you insist on credit, right. I'll gladly give that to you. <laughs> Okay, you must think I'm pretty stupid. What? Let go of me! Don't touch me or I'll call the police! I'm the one who should be calling the police. Look, I don't know what you've got in that stolen purse of yours, but you look more like a con artist than anyone trying to buy a jacket. <laughs> Please, just take a hike before my VIP clients show up. Oh, wow, this is disgusting. You know, come to think of it, I remember you now. On my way to work this morning, I saw you on the corner of 1st and 34th with the homeless. <laughs> I couldn't imagine how someone could wind up such a loser in life and end up on the street. Uh, I don't want people like you anywhere near my store. Hello. Hi. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Uh, don't worry about her. <laughs> you must be Mrs. Feinstein. I'm so honored to be able to welcome you to my shop. I You're feel like they about to find out the truth about her story, about her, about how she treating people. Events are legendary. We'd be humbled if you chose us as your supplier for your next charity ball. Well, we're looking to clothe approximately 200 guests in evening wear. So for the men, we're thinking tuxedos. And for the women, maybe a nice sequin dress. Do you have any samplers we could take a look at? This has to be Destiny. Ah, oh, I love sequins. Adore them. I have a ton of clients who come in here looking for that exact thing. I think I have just the thing for you. Baby, come here. Do you know who that is? I have no idea. I try to run a clean store, but sometimes there's nothing you can do except call the police on these people. Wait, but that lady said, do you know who that is? So what if she... A, a known person that probably was helping the homeless earlier and this lady happened to see her and judge her. I'm so sorry. We value your business and we want your experience to be nothing short of the best. Just let me call the police and I'll have her out of here as soon as possible. These people? How dare you? Yeah, she said- I'm, I'm sorry, I guess that was the wrong term. <laughs> I meant homeless people. To be fair, it's been hell in here recently with shoplifting and fraud and it's really important to keep an eye on people like that. Oh, it really takes me a lot to get pissed off. But what you just said is utterly disgusting and just shows how- He has to see how she, uh, assuming that this lady is homeless or even like a real homeless person at all. Why are you treating people like that? How ignorant you are! I, I, I normally don't get involved in other people's business, but you just it made- It me because the racist people, when somebody goes off on them, they act like they have no idea what they did wrong. Like they're like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a huge mistake. Whoa, whoa, ladies. Okay, take it easy. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Okay, they certainly don't need to get aggressive uh, with each other. Um, honey, don't you think you might be overreacting just a little bit? Look, I, I know, I know you mean well, okay? And you want to do the right thing, but this isn't your battle. Okay, so can we just please pick something out for our guests and we'll be on our way? <gasps> Absolutely not. Come on, stop being scary. You wanted to come to this store. I feel like she did right by speaking up. Let her know another white person to another white person. Shoot. Or potentially spend upwards of $200,000 and now you want to blast the manager? Look, you are making a spectacle of yourself. It's not worth it. A spectacle? Are you serious right now? Could, could you just excuse us for just like two minutes? <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. What has gotten into you? Why are you so sensitive? Sensitive? What the hell is wrong with you? Okay. Did you not just hear what she said? I can't just stand there and do nothing. I would hardly call that nothing. Sounded to me like it was a lot of drama. 
It's not drama. It's called karma. Come on. Look, she's just trying to close a deal and protect her store's reputation. Okay, I'm sure she's a softie and wouldn't hurt a fly. A softie? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think that woman is a horrible human being, and she just insulted one of the biggest social media stars in the world. Who cares about a social... Dang. That girl is a big social media star. Dang. So media influencer, come on. Yeah. That's why I love social media because now, you know, them influencers, them uh, known social media stars, they have the power to get your business shut down. All they have to do is go on there and talk about how poorly and badly they were treated. And nobody will show up at your store ever again. The girl that just left, do you have any idea what her entire platform and following is based on? I don't know, showing off her ass with a bottle of water bounce. Stop. No, come on now. She she did not look like that type of girl. She's probably one of those girls that's an advocate for like homeless people and you know, like she helps people. Something on top of it? No, Bobby. She uses her influence to spread compassion for the homeless. Yep, see? See? Yeah. Now you understand. Well, I've never heard of a social media influencer using her platform. To he needs to he be on there looking at the girls with the bottles shaking their booty and stuff. He need to stop. <laughs> do good before. So. Well, now you do. Every year she volunteers to help the homeless and gives them clothing, food, and shelter. So you telling me to stay quiet right now is just so wrong. <sighs> that woman over there, she thinks that Recognizing greatness in class is about the brands people wear or what they drive. Sure, she's yep. a tad jaded because she manages the store, but what counts, Bobby, is what people do with their actions, with their generosity and compassion. Our galas no, are about raising money for the less fortunate, and she just insulted a woman who is doing just that. I, I mean, it looks like the only thing that matters to her is keeping up an appearance that's superficial. I prefer to shop at places that that promote modesty yep. and humility. Okay, okay. Justine, uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna work out for today, but thank you for your time, but we will absolutely keep you on file for our future events. Thank you. Ma'am, please don't leave. I know why you're upset. I saw that woman earlier today rolling up sleeping bags with the homeless, so I just assumed she was one of them. Well, you were wrong. And so what if she was one of them? What makes you a better person than her? Is there anything I can do to make this right? <sighs> well, there is an art form that isn't always easy to do. A lot of people are too scared to appear weak or simply find it too humiliating. But for most of us, it's a gesture of goodwill and humanity. <laughs> Apologize? Yeah, and that's not without taking into account that admitting your mistakes is a sign of maturity. Well, what if she doesn't accept my apology? Well, we can't always control how people are gonna react to us, but what we do control is how sincere we are and what we do to own up to our mistakes. That's uh, she telling this lady about herself, but think about it though. If this was a black person telling her, she would be threatening to call the police. She would be acting like this black person is hurting her. So it's better if this another person that's in the same race as her put her in her place. <laughs> it's asking a lot. I'm just a very proud person and I'm not used to making apologies. I remember reading in a passage once that Apologies resolve conflicts without violence, repairs divisions between nations, and restores balance to personal relationships. Wow. Powerful stuff. Just do what's right, and you'll be okay. Yeah. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. Oh, look at you go. Talk about turning a negative into a positive. Well, the truth doesn't take a day off. <laughs> what if, in addition to my apology, I bring her these for the homeless? Oh, that would be really classy of you. Thank you <laughs> for inspiring me. I really needed it. 
He had to humble her real quick. The next day. Nora Waters? Yeah, that's me. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank me? <laughs> For what? You're an inspiration. And you're making a difference. You've taught me the virtues of caring, helping others, and humanity. I'm glad to hear that. There's so much work to be done with the less fortunate, it's overwhelming at times. There's someone here that would like to share a few words with you. I want to apologize for the way I treated you. I'm appalled by my behavior and I hope you can forgive me. I understand- Why she look different? That is not the same girl. She looks so different. And if you want to take your business elsewhere, and while it's a hard pill to swallow, I accept the consequences of my actions. I know you probably hate people who just talk the talk, so on behalf of Mandy's Fashions, I'm happy to tell you that we're excited to support you in whatever way we can. And my husband and I will also pledge to double up whatever clothes Justine offers you. And um, we'll do our best to give you a portion of what we raise at our fundraiser. We will? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll make a few phone calls and we should be able to help you do what you do best. <sighs> That's incredible. <sighs> Thank you for your honesty and your apology. You have no idea how far this is going to go. Aww. Do you know someone who judges people based on their income or material possessions? Sure, they may have monetary okay, yeah, value, but it's time to show the world that doesn't reflect their value as human beings. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.